I shall apologize now if this goes really, really long. Someone asked me to talk about Simplicity Pattern Company and when I worked there. First, I'm going to start off a little before that. My mom had worked there um, before I was born. And uh, Simplicity was totally manufactured in Niles, Michigan, a town next to me, from 1931 until the late 90s, early 2000s. No, because mom was still there and... I don't know. It slowly got smaller and smaller. They still had the big building and then they would like rent parts of it off and they had their own paper mill. They did everything in house. And when my mom first hired in there as a young person, she did hand folding, hand folding the patterns to put into the envelopes, um, which they later on changed to machine folding. Uh, I don't remember much of her working in the factory. I know she was part of the union and I know one of her friends was one of the union officers and they had a uh, office there in the front of the um, building and I can remember going to the union office with my mom. I was probably five or six but the thing I remember is on the shelf in there they had stuff things made from patterns from simplicity and the one that I loved was Paddington Bear. He had a little blue raincoat on, a little yellow hat. I loved him. I can't remember what else was on the shelf. I always went to Paddington Bear and uh, I would play with him when I was in there and his little buttons come undone and you could take his little coat off and um, I loved that thing and uh, which later on as a gift my mom ended up getting me that she somehow got it and I got that Paddington Bear he lived on my shelf but um, when I got to be a teenager a little older the, the, my memories of hers in the beginning is she was a customer service representative and uh, so she worked in the office. She was on salary and office salary people, you know, there was no unions or anything like that. So um, after the doggy drive through, I'm continuing on from my job story. Uh, pretty much the next day after my last day at the doggy drive through, I went into Simplicity because the, they had asked the people who worked there if they had any, you know, older teenagers who might want to come in or who need a job, who are out, hot, out of high school, who need a job who can work full time at that time and there were three or four of us who did hire in who had parents who worked there and uh, so um, the department I was in I can't remember what the name of the department is because we merged with customer service later we were upstairs in the old part of the building it was kind of creepy up there and they had created this scanning system that I think it was every four months, the stores that carried Simplicity Pattern would get this big manala envelope with a stack of inventory sheets and they had to go in and write the numbers in little boxes as neat as possible. And then they would send that back in an envelope with a piece of cardboard to keep it from bending. Well then we would get all these totes of all these envelopes and we would put them through the slicer, the slice it open and take out the cardboard and we'd write the account number on the outside of the envelope and they went in stacks and they crisscrossed with well, a scanning system the main terminal it would scan all these in and it would read all these handwritten numbers and then there were th three side terminals that if the computer couldn't um, recognize the handwriting we were constantly just keying in numbers so uh, there for the first while I was just keying in numbers and then they needed somebody to work third shift and I was the young one who was willing to do it. So I worked third shift alone and I would get the scanner going and then I'd go over and key in numbers and the only person I would ever see would be the guard who had a key turn right inside of my door because we were in a room with four walls that were just no windows or anything and then the glass front with the door it was a climate controlled room because it had to keep the equipment at a certain temperature or they would overheat and not run. So it was always cool in our room. And uh, not long after I started they moved us all downstairs and our boss, whose name I can't remember because she wasn't my boss very long, was let go because they downsized her position and put an envelope umbrella just under customer service and that boss, Jane, became our boss who was um, my mom's boss actually when Jane went away or had 
to go to New York or whatever, my mom was the boss, which was lovely. Luckily, that didn't happen too often when I was there. But um, so we were in a room right outside of customer service, and um, they would pull me into work in customer service once in a while if they needed somebody to answer the phones, if they were all in meetings. And I would always choose my mom's office to sit in and answer phones. And I could answer her phone. If it was one of her customers, they couldn't tell it wasn't my mom because I, my, I sound a lot like my mom. And I mean, people would hear me walking down the hall talking, thinking it was my mom coming, and I'd come around the corner and like, oh, we thought Teresa was coming. No, it's me. I, got, I could answer my mom's phone after I'd been there for a while and could help a customer, and they didn't even know they weren't talking to their, their, their representative. They thought they were because I sounded like her. And if it was something I couldn't help them with before... Once they started rattling stuff off, I would say, can I take a message? She's in a meeting. And they'd go, huh? And I'm like, this is her daughter. <laughs> um, so I would help out there also sometimes. And um, it was cool. You would go out. I would walk down the, the factory to the other end to where a break room was. It had, like, vending machines and stuff. It's this big open warehouse with all these... Um, well, where they picked the one orders was these big metal shelves with all these little bins, all numbered from each different pattern, because each bin had a different size, and they would pick the orders. After my mom was a customer service rep, well, okay, let's stop. The last day I worked at Simplicity was my 24th birthday. I know this because they all scared me. Temps, when we, when we worked, we worked full-time, sometimes even overtime, and we'd work, I don't know, like a month stretch, because they needed all this stuff done, and they needed it done now, and then we wouldn't work for a couple months, and then we'd get called back in. And uh, so, usually, when the customer service reps went into a meeting, I'd get pulled over to answer phones or whatever, and they'd go have their meeting. Well, one day one of them came in and said, hey guys, we have a meeting to go to. I'm thinking... Temps don't go to a meeting. And we went around the corner. I went back in customer service, and it was a surprise for me. They had got me a birthday cake, and they were all singing happy birthday. So I was very shocked, which was very sweet, because it was the last day for us temps to be there at, on that certain uh, time. Uh, but at that, by that time, my mom had already transferred from being a customer service rep. She got a job out in the factory as a boss, to department, what the heck was mom's department called? She ran a crew of women who picked patterns. Um, so her office moved to the other end of the factory. And so she, then one of her best friends ran a, a department called Reorder. My nose issues. And they picked orders too, but they, they were smaller orders, like if a, a, a small business needed just a small little order of, of patterns. They would order it. They would um, be put on a little tag. And the people who picked out there, the more they picked, the more they made. They made piece rate. So if they wanted to get a really good um, paycheck in a week, if they worked their butts off, they could make good money. And they called me down there to work once, and what I did is after they would pick, I would get a stack of these cards of orders that had been picked. I'd go into the computer system, put in an employee's number, put in what order they picked, and then go on to the next one. That way they would get credit on their paycheck. And um, so I did that a couple times. Um, but the weird thing about, really, when I first started there, all my life, they'd all know who knew who I was. They've seen pictures of me growing up. Everybody knew who I was. I knew a small handful of people. I knew a lot of names. But when I started working there, everybody knew my name. And I did not know hardly anybody. <laughs> it was just weird that everybody was like, oh, hey, Stacy. And I'm like, what's that? But I don't know who that was. So it was kind of, it was, it was fun. I, I enjoyed working there. I remember as a kid when Mom worked there, I would always get excited when she'd bring home the big simplicity pattern, the new catalog. And I would flip through it. Pretty much I'd go to the plus size area. That was the one thing my mom, when she was a customer service rep and had to go to New York for business trips, because um, she had to do that sometimes, 
her big push with the big wigs was make more patterns for plus size people. Extend the sizes. She was always on them about plus size patterns because my mom was a short stocky lady. So that was her big thing with the New York people. Because you know they don't get it. But, but she, eventually they started getting more. And so my mom had something to do with that. Just saying. So when she'd bring home the catalog, I would look through it and write down my, my wish list and she would take it to work with her and I'd, she'd come home with a bag full of patterns. <laughs> so that was nice. What are you doing down there? Um, so it was always a part of my life, Simplicity Pattern. And then, oh, let's see, Mom's been gone. Let's see, Heidi's 10. I'm going to kill you. Here, you want to treat? Heidi's t over 10 now, and Mom was let go on Memorial Day weekend. Oh, Heidi, you're here, too. You want a couple here? Heidi, there you go. Heidi's in the bed. There she is. Um, cause she was let go the day we were going to go get Heidi. They downsized her out of the blue. She did not know she was going to get let go that day after 35 or six years of working there at the time. So it was, um, I said, well, now you're going to be a puppy mom. So don't worry about it. Cause she was committed to her job. Like she would give them so many hours that she didn't need to because she was salary. So she got paid the same amount for being there 40 hours or doing 60 hours. And she gave them a lot of her time. And especially after she became a boss of her own department. And uh, it's, it really, you could tell it started to stress her out. And I don't know if any of that stress had to do with her getting sick or not. I really don't. So, yeah, Simplicity was always kind of around and then it started to get smaller and smaller and then they kind of, it's, nothing's there now. I don't even know where they make them at anymore. Um, I know her friend Barb still goes to Wisconsin for Simplicity business. Don't know if they make anything there. I don't know where anything's made for Simplicity anymore. I don't even know if they're still made in the USA. I don't know. I don't know. So that's my simplicity in this. Back in the day, man, they employed a lot of people. And in like the 70s and 80s, everybody knew somebody who worked in Simplicity Pattern or had worked there at one time or another. Because when I left Simplicity, I was 24. And that was in 19... 96. I had to look. I wrote a note so I can remember. And in 1997, I started at the newspaper. So that's kind of... I had like a brief stint of trying to do telemarketing. Hated it. And then I did. I tried something else. Hated it. And then I got the newspaper job and I was there for 14 years. Part of the time doing both newspaper and toilet. So yeah, simplicity. I did enjoy it. It was a fun job. I'm glad I had it. I ag they aggravated me with my mom. It, yeah, there towards the end it was getting to be where they, like the lady who used to do the answer the phones, she retired. Well, instead of hiring a new person full time, who's this? Grandma. They hired a couple part-time people so they didn't have to pay insurance and but I have to go grandma's calling I'll talk to you all later